Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for July. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to use the Vice Versa deck and um, I want to cut it in front of you guys so we're just going to, we're going to cut the deck here in a minute to get an overall energy but so this is for the month of July. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you so um, this may or may not resonate and the timing is fluid so if it doesn't resonate the very day that you watch it it may resonate later I mean this is a preview right some people don't understand that but that is truly the case it's really a preview that may or may not be so let's get started we're gonna use one of those but we're gonna start by cutting this deck to get an overall energy eight of pentacles so you may be teaching somebody something. You notice this person is watching this person work. So somebody may be watching you work, honestly. I mean, that just came out. Maybe they're learning something from you. You may be knowingly teaching them or maybe, maybe even unknowingly teaching them. I feel like you have a lot of skills. I think you're working hard and somebody is watching you. So keep that in mind. You got somebody who is interested in whatever you're doing put it that way we got somebody who's interested it looks like it's you know there's, it's a beautiful day it is a beautiful day so You may be working away and somebody stops by, somebody stops by. They stop by your desk or they stop by your work area or they stop by, they stop by. They just stop over. Just keep that and that just came to my mind. You know, they stop by and they interrupt you or they, or they watch you or something and you have a conversation with them. I'm not sure what this is, but this is like, you're working and somebody shows up and this person whoever this person that shows up it's significant it's that that came out for a reason so whoever this person is it is this person can learn something from you looks like they're very interested whoever this person is not sure we're quite ready for that Virgo Virgo what do we got for Virgo oh yikes well wow. hostilities that's never good not a good way to start things out okay so we got some hostilities here we got somebody maybe this <laughs> I mean, look at this person's face. You got to be careful here. That person that's watching you, they may not be happy. Okay? I mean, we got some hostile. This person looks a little... Maybe they got something up their sleeve. Just beware. You got some... This, there could be some jealousy. There could be some hostilities. I'm not sure what's going on, but beware. <laughs> yeah. So, um... On the bottom of the deck, we have yin and yang. So this is there's this is a you know this is a perfect match, but it, there's a lot of opposition. There's there's this could be the missing piece, whatever this is. I don't know if it's this person, but this this is at the bottom of this deck. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, let's see what else we can get here. What do we have for Virgo? You may be coming together with somebody, whether it's that person in the first card or it's somebody different. I mean, that's like a completion. This is like a completion of something. You can, you know, this is the, this is coming together with your perfect match.
Well, we got some sort of, and that's like these ones want to fall out, so we're going to take them. But this is, this is, uh, somebody has been in a state of denial. You notice that sword, that sword of truth is stuck. It's stuck. It hasn't been used in a while. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. The scales are on the ground. I mean, is that scales or what the hell is that? Because she's got scales over here. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a... But there's a sword up here. So she has the scales, she or he has the scales and a sword in their hand, but here we have a sword that is, somebody hasn't been telling the truth, and somebody has, it's like thrown it, thrown out. Not holding on. No, not holding their breath, something like that. given up on receiving justice by the looks of things. Interesting. But anyway, we're going to take these because they... Oh, we have the Emperor and we have the Strength card. Oh, here it comes again. Look at that. So it's pretty prominent here. Um, <laughs> why I'm doing it this way, I don't know. I think it must have to do with the vice versa deck, and I want to be able to see the whole cards. They're so, you know, exquisite. They really are. But anyway, it looks like we have somebody here that is stepping outside of their shell. We have somebody that is contemplating a painful situation. This guy, um... You know, I think we have somebody here that has gone through some sort of awakening. We have somebody, because this guy, has, he's, he's taken off his armor. Hmm. Looking at what happened, we have somebody here that is seeing of death or a painful situation. We have somebody here that is, has like stepped out of their shell, okay? Here we have some sort of anguish, seriously. Somebody has walked away. Or somebody is walking away. Somebody is going through a lot of mental conflict over an ending. Okay, that's what we got going on here. There's been some sort of... Well, there could be some legal issues. I just got to throw that on the table here. Justice can re resemble legal issues. You're going to need some strength to master your emotions during this time, okay? Treat yourself with gentle ease and compassion because it looks as though, you know, you may be experiencing some difficulties, okay? There could be, this is, this is, this is a lightning. Oh, you see the lightning. There could be a shock. There's something, I mean, this is a shock, you could be experiencing some sort of shock. You could receive some shocking information. Okay, this is a shocking, and this is a message. You may receive it. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm not going to pretty it up and not tell you the truth, okay, because that's not who I am. But anyway, you got this person here. This is an emperor. This this emperor, this could be a father. This could be a husband. This is This is a masculine, okay that um, may be stepping outside of his shell. It's like this person may be um, um, he, this guy, but he's got his armor on. Okay, he's got his, he's protective. 
He may be trying to protect you. This is a protector. This is a this is a this is a boss. This is this is a leader. This is a very wise, decisive individual who goes after what they want, does things to protect and to keep things organized. This person is You know, the right, this guy is stepping outside if he's taking his armor off. I think we have somebody here that's been trying to control. Been trying to keep things in order. But that's not who he really is. Do you know what I mean? This person is, it's not who he really is. And I think this person probably has some sort of regrets. I don't know. It doesn't have to be an Aries. It can be any sign. But this is a masculine. We have a masculine that is taking off his armor. You know, he's he's that wall that surrounds him is breaking. It's like he's shedding his skin. His protective barrier is being shed. You're going to need to master your emotions, okay? You're going to need to master your emotions during this time. You're going to need to find strength to let go. Because this is the strength to let go of something. Let go of your fears. Maybe you have this person that starts communicating with you. Maybe this person treated you unfairly in the past. This is this is unfair. The justice basically reversed. This is unfair treatment. There's been dishonesty. There's been some lies. There's been some deception. But there's nothing left to balance out because it's like this guy is surrendering. And this would be surrendering. So it's like right, it's like there's a surrender here. This person may be really fearful of of uh, forgiveness. It's almost like it's like he maybe he wants to confess or whoever it is. I feel like we have some sort of somebody who is really regretting how they treated you or what they did. They've been really struggling with their thoughts about what happened, about what is happening, about the burdens that they have brought into a situation. Somebody is being weighed down very heavily by... really overwhelmed. Somebody has been overwhelmed with their own thoughts and discontent, you know. I just want to make sure this is focused. Now if you look at these eights, eight, 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 eight. Eight, 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 eight. The time is now. The time is now. Infinity. Okay. Another eight. You have you have what? Five eights. Oh my God. Change. You're about to experience a major, major change. Right soon. Like, it's gonna, this is right now. Right now. Things are about to move in a new direction and it's gonna be a shock to you. I, it is. It is. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. I think there's been some, somebody has been living in some sort of mental prison over the burden that they have caused you. Or you have caused them. This could go vice versa. There's, a, there's, there's an overwhelming feeling of, of heaviness. 
that's what we got here. Things are about to change. Things are about to change. Somebody has been trying to escape being held responsible for their actions. But I don't think that they can do that anymore because now it's overwhelmed them so much because they feel the connection. Somebody's been watching you, like I said. And they may want to heal. Because this is a card of healing. They may want to heal this situation with gentle compassion. I think we got somebody here that is ready to open up to you to heal the hostilities that they have caused because they feel a connection. There's been some hostilities, and I think that they are overwhelmed and burdened by, you know, living through their ego. I think they're starting to realize that the exterior is not who they are, or it's not what a person is. Whatever that means. We have somebody that is about to head in your direction. Or you're about to head in theirs. There is rapid movement here. There is rapid change here. And I think it's going to be shocking. There's been an injustice. And I think that we have somebody here that is going to come into your life. or you're Whatever way it works for you. Somebody is hoping to heal an, an, an unjust situation that has overwhelmed them. It's like it's killing them. Could be dealing with the Aries, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with anybody who is very strong, determined. This could be a business owner, whoever this person is. This person could be very dominant in your life or ha was at one time. This person is controlling. This person is controlling and they probably see your healing ability or they see your gentle compassion or they see your beauty you know um, that strength is a very beautiful energy and I think this person is ready to step outside of their of their shell you know they're ready to let go of that barrier that they have been hiding under okay um, I do see some worry here though they they are probably fearful of rejection they are they are fearful of rejection. Um, whoever this person is, they are very overwhelmed. They, um, it's like they can't carry this anymore. They can't. They want to leave the pain behind. They, they want to uh, let me just get some more cards. Hold on. Ace of Cups. Like I told you, this person was watching, and here he comes, here, whatever. We got somebody coming. It's like they're coming to the rescue. It's like they're ready to battle. They're ready to fight for it. They they don't. They're ready to do whatever it takes to. Protect, because this is protection. This is protection. It's like they want to protect you from something. Protect the union, perhaps. There you are, the hermit. Somebody is absolutely positively watching you. There is no doubt about it.
And they're ready to come out of hiding. We have somebody here that has been waiting. They've either been waiting for you to come to them. And it's like they can't wait anymore. Maybe, maybe you're just not coming. Maybe you're not coming. Maybe you're not doing anything. And they've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And somebody is coming to the rescue. I'm telling you what. Somebody is coming to the rescue. So I feel like we you have somebody coming. Whoever this person is. It's like they're coming to save you. Or to save the commitment or to save the connection, whatever this is. This person is kind of, is like a, a freaking warrior, okay? This person is highly aware, spiritually awakened. It's like they have woken up from something. It's like now they realize or they, they have just come to some sort of realization that Their soul is, or souls, has to do with souls, you know? The soul is, wants what it wants, you know what I mean? Something like that. It has to do with souls, you know, not the exterior. And that's what I see because, and it's hard to explain. Whoever this person is, I feel like this person is in a state of, anguish because that's the same light that he has I just anyway because they didn't see the light because they didn't see the a whole picture they didn't see the soul you know what I mean whatever that means they didn't go with the soul I, and I, I, I it's hard to explain but anyway I feel as though we have somebody here that is ready to fight, to heal an injustice. It's like this person has been divinely guided. That's what this is, divinely guided. To have faith and trust and to believe in what they've heard. I think we have somebody here that has been divinely guided to shed. To shed their exterior. To shed their armor. To shed their old ways. This is an offer of love. Some and this is this is this is a rescue. Somebody's. I'm telling you, wow! I really feel like we have somebody here that is coming to the rescue, whatever that means. Um, it's like this person just comes out of nowhere, and it's like they they, they it's like they want they know this person knows that it's almost too late this is like a freaking fairy tale you know when the prince shows up and saves her at the end you know kisses her and whatever <laughs> that's funny that is funny anyhow um I feel like we have somebody that has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening and they are headed in your direction and it's going to be quite shocking to you. If you are single, this could be somebody completely new, but it could also be a reconciliation. I feel as though um, we have somebody that is wanting to heal 
an overwhelming situation. They can't carry this load anymore. They can't carry this load anymore. Somebody is definitely overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with some sort of emotional disappointment because another person has walked away. And they're, and they're not going to give up. It's like they're not going to give up. They're going to get what they want. They're, going, they're not going to give up on the situation. It's like they see, they, they see the perfect opportunity. It's like they see the connection. They feel the connection. It's like I'm not going to give up on this connection. You may, you know, I don't know if this is somebody that you've worked with before or you work with or you met through work or something like that. Um... I think there's a, there's an unfair ending that happened in the past and somebody has went through some sort of awakening and it's like they see that you're the one so I don't know if this is a reconciliation or if this is somebody new. If this is somebody new, this is this is absolutely somebody coming to your rescue. That is exactly what this is. This is somebody coming to that you don't even you don't it's like they come right out of the blue. It's like all of a sudden here they are. And this person is smitten with you. This person is completely smitten with you. This person loves the skin that you are in. This person doesn't care what you look like. I feel like you're going to receive, you're going to, and there's messages that are going to be going back and forth. There's going to be communication going back and forth. Yes, this is you moving to a better place. Leaving the trouble behind. And you know, she's got the Ace of Cups in her hand. So I, I really feel like we have somebody here that is, is coming to take you away. Whatever that means. It's like they're coming to take you away. And I don't know what that means, but... The time is now. The time is now for you to come together with this person. Whoever this person is, this person has went through some sort of transition. They've went some went through some sort of transformation. And it's like there's an opportunity to come together with this person at this time. I think that you guys are about to blend with somebody. You're about to come together with somebody. I think it is absolutely the time is now. Divine timing is at work here. The time is now. I, 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 I really feel as though this could be somebody that you have walked away from in the past or they have walked away from you. This could be somebody that you meet at a church or a government uh, building. But I feel like this person shows up in your life out of the blue, completely out of the blue. Um... Now this, these, I don't know if you heard that last part, because the camera died, the battery died, but I said, they are attracted to you.
So when something dies, like the camera or the battery, that's a message in itself. I turned it right back on. Good luck.